You don't have to be a genius to find the infinite possibilities that you can use with command blocks. That's why I made this video to show you seven things that you can do. Before we do this, make sure that if you do these, enter the first command, and if there's a repeating command block, enter the second command near it. The first thing I'd like to show is the infinitely repl replicating command block. You have to enter in this command shown on screen. What this command does is it will create a replica of the command block on top of itself. So what happens is the command block will recreate itself infinitely until it reaches the top of the build limit. This does not have much use, but it's very funny and it might surprise some of your friends if you show it off to them. This next one turns your entire flat world into a giant glacier. Enter in this command. It's a bit complex, but if you just copy off what it says, it should be just fine. This is a lot of fun to use with a boat because you can just go across the world very fast. You can also use this command to make other blocks instead of ice. So you can replace ice with something like note blocks or other command blocks, maybe even jukeboxes. But what I did was I chose amethyst blocks. The reason why I did this is because whenever you run across amethyst, it makes a bunch of fun sounds. So what I did was I gave myself a lot of speed so I could run across the amethyst very quickly. So whenever you listen to it, it makes a very fun sound. The next command will make it so that you fly into the air whenever you look up, or it'll give you the levitation buff whenever your camera is facing up towards the sky. Just copy down this command into a repeating command block. It won't do anything unless you look directly up into the sky, but whenever you do, here's what happens. You'll start to fly up really high, and then if you're in survival mode, you'll fall back down to your death, unless you know how to MLG water bucket. However, the funny thing about this is that you won't even notice that you're levitating upwards until you look back down and realize how high you flew up. This makes it really good to troll friends. However, another use for it might be is that if you're in a creative world and you're having trouble flying up quickly, this is a way to fix that. The next command is what I like to call the upgraded flaming arrow. It will create a giant path of flames every time you shoot an arrow. Just copy down this command. It might seem a bit complex, but if you copy down exactly what it says, it should work just fine. Whenever you shoot an arrow, it will create a bunch of fire blocks around it, but it won't destroy any of the other blocks. That is, unless if you burn them down. It's very satisfying to see all the flames erupt from just one shot from your bow. It's very satisfying to shoot animals and you can even burn down forests and believe it or not it will also activate TNT so you might want to try it yourself to see all the amazing things it can do but it isn't perfect yet because you can make it so that whenever you shoot an arrow you don't hurt yourself so copy this command down here this will just make it so that the fire blocks don't spawn if the arrow is too close to you making you completely safe so you can do all the arson that you want to with no harm I would like to warn anyone willing to try this out that it could be a bit laggy, so be aware of that. Maybe don't try to spam the arrows like I did. The next thing is how to make a floating island. Enter in this command. Some of the things you can change to change the size of it, like some of the values, like the 8 or the 10. But basically what it'll do is it'll just take the land around the command block and then it'll create a giant sky island above it. The sky island will have everything that the command block was around. And it'll just put it up into the sky. You might want to do it if you may want to make a sky block map or something fun like that, but it'll make a perfect little land. There's even animals spawning on it. Look at these cute dogs right here. This has many fun uses. So I would like to recommend that you try it out yourself if you're looking for making sky islands. You can just make them out of the world yourself. 
This next one is similar to the levitation one where it'll make a hole below you whenever you look up. Just by copying this command right here. It won't do anything unless if any player in the world looks upwards. Then what will happen to them is a giant hole will form below them until they look back down. In survival mode, this will guaranteed kill them unless if there's water below them. This last one is definitely one of my favorites. It's whenever you throw a snowball, it creates a giant trail of TNT. I'll put the command that you need to do this on screen so that you can do it yourself. It's very satisfying just to watch all the TNT shoot out of the snowball whenever you throw it, making it one of my favorites because it's just so much fun to use. One way to make this a bit better is that you can make it so that it doesn't create so much TNT. Instead, you can just make it so that it only creates one TNT whenever it hits the ground, making it a lot less destructive. However, either of these two, I do not recommend that you put on your own survival world. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and...